Hello and welcome to Mod Spot, the mod review and tutorial show. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. Today we'll be looking at a mod which will definitely help out both the budding and the experienced map makers out there. As you'll almost certainly already know, the game engine and the map editor both render a map slightly differently. Even if you've never opened up the map editor, you can still see some of this effect in game by moving to the edge of an unpurchased tile or even the tunnel entrances if there are any. This isn't everything though, and even terrain can render slightly differently too. All this means when building a map, which can be an extremely long process, the creator is only ever best guessing at what the end result will be. Now a good creator will then save the map, open it up in the game engine, write a list of all of the changes that they want to make, perhaps taking dozens of screenshots, then reloading the editor, best guessing the changes, saving the map, loading the game, checking how many of these changes worked and which ones didn't, writing a new list and so on. Until eventually that new list is reduced to nothing and then they feel the map is ready. Today's mod will help make this process much, much easier. Map Makers Marks by Nailin is a simple mod which conveys information from the game engine into the map editor via the use of these symbols. But first, how do you get them? Well, the link, as always, is in the description of the video. Follow it across, click subscribe, then load up the game, open up the content manager, enable the mod, and then open up the map that you want to check for errors. Today we'll be working with St. Catherine's Point made by myself and has been polished to death in the making process. So we'll be marking things and pretending that they're really, really bad. Unless you think that, of course, they are really bad, in which case, get off my channel. Right, sorry, so where were we? Ah, yes. Now when you load up the game, you'll see a new button in the top left hand corner of your screen. But we're going to completely ignore this for now. Far more important is what's now in the electricity menu. If you scroll far enough, you will find the map makers marks. And we'll be using these in a moment. But first I'm going to completely recommend that you use both Prop and Tree and Fine Road Anarchy to enable you to place these exactly where you want on the map. Now strictly speaking, you don't need Anarchy, but if you're a map maker placing marks, you'll almost certainly benefit from both. Again, links to both these mods are in the description. Now let's get to work. Let's say I have a problem with this section of highway, and I've decided I'd like it to be three lanes rather than two. Simply place your chosen mark next to it. And over here, I've decided I don't want this floral shield to be underlined anymore. Again, simply plop down the mark. And we could continue, but we've now got enough marks to work for this tutorial. So now, click that M3 button and up pops the Map Makers Marks control window. Come down to the bottom and click Save and give it a file name. We'll call this one a tutorial. And now it's time for bed. And then we get up and we have breakfast and a shower and go to work. And then we come home the following evening and we load up our game and decide that actually that roundabout has to go. Let's place the mark. But we're going to need to add this to our marks file. So click that M3 button and select load. Here we have three options, append, replace, and delete. Now delete stands for itself, but do we want to append or replace? Now here's how to think about it. We're just about to load in a bunch of previously saved marks. Now, do we want to keep the marks that we've just made? or do we want to completely replace them with the ones that we had yesterday? Here, we want them to merge together so that we can save them into the same file. So we're gonna click Append. But there are times you'll simply want to clear out the marks on your map and load in a completely new set, in which case, use Replace. One example of this that I can think of is if you're placing dozens and dozens of marks and you might want to have a different file for, say, Networks, and another one for trees and so on. Using replace will help you switch between files cleanly. Once you've finished adding and appending marks, don't forget to save the file. Now over to the map editor. Click the M3 button and load up your marks and start cleaning up your errors. I wouldn't delete them off your list though until you've checked them again in the game engine, just in case you find that they're still not quite perfect enough. Now, I'm totally loving this little mod and I think it'll be a huge help to both amateur and serious map makers. 
though I do have one item on my wish list, and I have messaged Nailin directly with the suggestion. So who knows, they might already have implemented it into the mod, or not, it was just a suggestion, before this video goes live. If they've done that, then good work Nailin. These marks are definitely great for helping to locate a problem that you've found, but are less good for helping to fine tune the solution. Let's head on into my marshes and say this clump of reeds. I want to move it a couple of meters for whatever reason. The mark will help me to find the reeds, but placement is still completely guesswork. I do have a solution though. Here's a mark which I've edited in the procedural objects mod. You'll see we have a pole extending out from the mark itself. Now this pole can effectively be used as an accurate arrow. So let's mark the exact reed cluster. And now, we'll place another mark showing exactly where I want it to go. With this in the map editor, fine tuning will have most of the guesswork taken out, although checking back in the game engine will still be mandatory, obviously. And that's about it. If you're interested in the mod, head on over to the workshop via the link below and subscribe, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Speaking of which, if you're still here, could you do the same for this video? It would really, really help. So that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching, for commenting, for liking and for subscribing. Don't forget to join me on Monday to Saturday looking for the best map for your next city build. Uh, hit the subscribe button. And if you really, really like the channel, why not hit the join button? We've got some exclusive content. All City Skylines. I've been Bomb Bombi. You've been very, very welcome. And I'll see you very, very soon.